So now that the RC off-road season is over, uh, this was everything I would have to bring with me to the track. And the organizers are taken out of there right now. But um, it was just a hassle sometimes and the four-foot table I would bring to have all this stuff jammed in the back of the car. Um, kind of new parts were in one thing, used parts were in another. New and used parts were in this. And then uh, all the tools were in there, remote tires extension cords and then the table as well so a four foot table it was nice that it fit in the car easily but yet when you were there you couldn't really do have two cars on top of there i'd have to have one there one on the floor around all this other stuff beside me and um yeah it's just uh more of a pain having everything that um um you know wasn't together i last time i forgot this all these organizers I needed a couple parts out of them when I was there on the last time uh, but for now um, just gonna change it up to the six foot table and at the six foot table now a six foot bench which I've seen two setups like this which is nice you can put stuff up there keep it out of the way or it's holding the light I have my charger, all my batteries up there, the bodies for right now. This light I'm not going to bring with me. This lamp this is just the one I normally have here. And then two of my pit mats here with Truggy on one side, Buggy on the other. So, And then if I need to work on one, I can sit on this side. If I need to work on the other, just move the chair over, sit there. And then to store all the tools, tires, parts, everything, I ended up picking up the Milwaukee pack out set which was nice it's on sale same with this table the light the bench everything was actually on sale now i guess for black friday coming up um it just makes it a lot easier even though this stuff is a lot bigger than this it all stacks on top of each other so that was kind of the reason why i ended up going with this i've been keeping an eye on it between this the dewalt the husky um this one is just the milwaukee's nice because there are so many attachments for it or so many other things you can use it for. Um, but for now, all the tools and stuff like that, stuff you're normally going to use will be right on top. Um, it does come with the, this little organizer. Also comes with the organizer on one side. It does not come with these blue ones. That's out of my other thing. comes with this and another little organizer on the side there where you can take out the middle pieces and put bigger stuff in there if you like. Um... I just like it because now when I would organize that little toolbox, the bottom's not very, you just kind of throw everything in the bottom and you have the top where you can just pull out, you know, the handle piece. And uh, yeah, I'd organize it. By the time I come back from the track, it'd just be all disorganized. So I'm hoping this is going to keep me a little more organized, which it should. Also, whatever tools I'm using right now on the bench are just going to sit in here, like all my bits and stuff like that. So that makes it a lot easier. The middle one has basically all the organizers I just took out of, there's four of them in here that I took out of this guy. So I may get the Milwaukee organizer set and you put them on the top here and then I can transfer all this stuff into there. And then I would like to put the remote, just take the foam out of the case with the remote fits perfect in there, which is really nice. Comes with two of these as well. One in the middle, one at the bottom. Just have spare arms. Uh, because like when I ran into Billy, I kept breaking right arm. So there's two left arms in there, some diff cases that are used, um, some wiring and stuff like that. But then I have all the new parts here, diff oils, shock oils here in the middle. And like I said, all the organizers on this side right now. Um, so that's a lot nicer. And then in the very bottom, it's just basically going to be tire storage. And I just put my bigger pliers and stuff like that down here because it's obviously heavier and i don't really use these all the time but it is nice that it's convenient to have there so i'll put it all back together show you what it looks like here's the pack out all put together handle up uh, it was nice when i brought it home because i could just use the handle got the wheels on it just go step by step up backwards uh, make life a lot easier instead of going up and down the stairs like i said before a bunch of times um, I could even put one of the cars, I could put both the cars actually on top, just stack them on top of each other and carry that all up in one time. So, uh, I think this is really going to be a good difference, like help me out a lot more 
especially staying organized or keeping organized because I can organize all the other bins. But then once you're at the track, you're just kind of throwing stuff everywhere. At least if I throw all the tools in the tool bin, all the parts in the parts area, it will all stay together easily. So, and then having all the tires and stuff at the bottom is nice too. So, and then let alone just having the table is going to be a lot nicer. Um, I'll just end up leaving this table and bench in the garage and then have the four foot table here again. The one that's in the corner, make an L out of it. And then, you know, if I have to do some work on the cars, then I'll just carry them up with the pack out and just work on them here and then all that stuff will be downstairs and should be a lot easier for me so um yeah that's about it i guess and i'm gonna make a video about uh everything that i went through this year um like there's two escs right there i went through jeez don't even get me started on that there, that, there was my whole tire budget basically right there. Same with the three motors I went through. The Hobby Wing motors. But that's for another video. Um, yeah, just want to say thanks for watching. And can't wait to go back out for 2023. I'm going to get into some more races next year. And that's kind of why I did all of this. So, yeah, thanks for watching.